swear in the name of the Almighty God. The National Social Security Fund Management appeared for the third and final time before the Select Committee of Parliament set up to investigate the alleged mismanagement at the fund. However, the committee first interfaced with the Finance Department staff, which is responsible for the preparation of the budget of the fund. Asked about the sticky question of the breakdown of the 1.8 billion shillings allocated under corporate social investment, the Chief Financial Officer, Stephen Mwanje, said it was never disclosed to them. The budgeting process this time around was very stressful mm. because we received a lot of undue influence, which is not normal, but I think during the course of interactions, my colleagues should be For able example, to... those that you think were stressful? Uh, uh, specifically about uh, uh, strategic partnerships, the budget around the strategic partnerships, we are put in to put amounts in the budget which you could not really explain. But Mwanje told the committee that the former managing director, Biarugaba, had asked them to allocate the funds for which Notu and Koftu were budgeted to receive 800 million shillings. The managing director told us in no uncertain terms that he was under a lot of pressure from his bosses and we need to include that figure in the budget. How much was the figure? 1.8 billion shillings. Did they give you the breakdown? We only have we only informed about the 800 million which was said specifically is going to the unions. And the other one billion, there was no breakdown. Initially, Virugaba had disclosed to the committee that he was under political pressure to provide the money. He claimed 250 million shillings was allocated to Gender Minister Betty Amongi, another 250 million shillings for the board chairperson Peter Kimbawa, and the rest of the 500 million to be shared among the rest of the board members. Asked about this today, Virugaba disputed Mwanje's claim that he had not been provided with a breakdown of the 1.8 billion shillings to be spent on corporate social responsibility. I think that is, that is it. The, the 1 billion was there. Um, of course, I have a slide here which was generated by them breaking it down, but we, we all know that it was for the board to be able to help us uh, in uh, implementing this new strategy on uh, CSI. We are Ugaba joined us. We are standing, not even seated after break. In within, then he wrote this one. He said, this one is for you. This one is for you. Then I said, under which framework? And what and was... Then, uh, now, the... this is the one who was soliciting me. Again, he's come here telling the committee that we are putting pressure on him. The committee was forced to withdraw both Yarugawa and Mwanje's funds to verify whether the budget breakdown was ever shared between the two. I'm going to hand over both of your mobile phones to the CID. They will be taken for forensics and we are going to determine who exactly sent this and whoever is determined to have sent this will be the person who came up with that budget or in any other way the members may find fit. So CID kindly take this mobile phone. The committee is scheduled to go for retreat on Sunday to commence report writing. Jackson Onyango, NTV. Yeah. I have uh, a quick question to both. Uh,